What's going on guys? So in this video, I'm going to introduce you to a baby Helgramite. Look how adorable he is. What the hell are you? A micro bug. Come here. Oh, damn, it's a fly. Uh, but this is a baby Helgramite. Fresh hatchling. The He was doing real wonky without anything in the uh, tank. So I put a couple little chunks of shale that I actually broke off of this chunk so I could put it in here with the bass mills, which seems like a bad idea because they can't fit really underneath there. But Helgramites are a cool little uh, cool little bug. They actually turn into a Dobson fly, which is a really big bug with some nice, nice mandibles. Um, but the cool thing about these is that one, they're really good, they're really good smallmouth bait. Actually, the best smallmouth bait. Uh, a lot of people say they're even better than crawdads, which I don't believe. Um, but, yeah, there you go. So he did a quick jerk. They swim like crawdads. They actually jerk backwards like crawdads, or they swim like a leech. And they'll kind of swim like this, you know. And it's real funny, because they look like waviness. But I'm going to show you a bigger one. What up? This guy. Oh, yeah. There he comes to life. There's the big papa. He's gonna claw. He's probably gonna crawl. He's gonna, probably gonna crawl right out of this. Uh, what the hell? There's like little fake diamonds in there with him. Oh, that was this substrate. Whoopsie. Okay. Now, they do have to have oxygen, but I will be attaching a second host to the bubbler so I can keep him in a different enclosure. Uh, the baby, he'll be fine for a long time, up to a couple of weeks, actually a week or so, uh, in that little enclosure. Um, Chuck, he hasn't just crawled right out yet. The Dobson fly, yeah, well, the Helgramite, is actually a really bitey bug, uh, and they like to live in really fast current under rocks. What the hell is that? It's like a little, is that one of the crystals on them? But uh, as you guys can see, they have a pretty serious set of mandibles on them, and I'm going to try to get him out of here without getting the crap bit out of me again. Oh, he's got a lock. There we go. There we go. Get some of them old-ass Yu-Gi-Oh cards going. What's up? Oh, shit. He's slipping. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. So I got him. Here he is, or she. Now they have gills, so he can, I can't keep him out of water very long. Uh, and he's got like 20 of them up and down the side. Uh, these mandibles are some fierce, fierce things to try to try, try, trifle with. I do believe there's his eyes right there. Um, I really don't know the diet. I think it's fish. So sorry guys. Uh, but the weirdest thing is they have these little segments on them, and these actually serve no purpose at all. They don't do anything. They don't. They don't really move on their own. They don't help them stick to rocks. What helps them stick to rocks is their six front legs with nice little spikes, and this tail back here, which has spikes on it also, like claws that grab onto the rocks. And uh, what these guys do is exactly what little dude here has been doing, and they crawl across and under the rocks and stuff. Now, the reason I had him in here, and then I put the minnows in here, and that was just a fail because the minnows were driving were driving him slash her crazy. But this guy is beautiful. Uh, they can just be really bitey. I'm just waiting for it to tag me. But this guy is probably about three and a half inches long. So from where is he? Where is he? From that. Oh shit! Oh, don't bite me! Don't bite me! He's okay. He's okay. He's moving. From that, from that, to that, and this is still small. And you see, it's pretty tame. They're not too aggressive. I'm petting it and everything, and it's not trying to bite me. It's chill. But these turn into Dobson flies, everything else like that. La da 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 da. Boop. <laughs> It'll readjust, and boom. I'm gonna put a lid on this uh, for now, and then I will get the. What the hell is that? Like a magic bean or something right here? What is this? It's a rock, and it's floating. Look. It's a floating rock. What the hell? But you can see underneath there the uh, gills. But yeah, I'm going to get off here. Uh, I'm going to keep this girl for a while to make a couple more videos with. And then I'll probably release her at the local creek, which she should survive nicely. And it's got a good water flow to it constantly. Uh, yeah, I'll be feeding the snakes very soon. I just said the garter snakes. Next will be the two baby northerns upstairs and then the northern brown down here. And then probably my corn snake if I can get to the creek and get some good fish. Uh, stay tuned for some uh, smallmouth videos uh, on K-Dog and Uncle Daddy's Misadventures. And if you guys want to see that video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And go check us out. And I will see all you guys later. Bye. He's trying to climb out. It's successful. He got a grip. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. That's why I want a lid. All right. Come here. Come on. Come on. Boop. Now, see the defense mechanism? A ball. Right back. So, I got to find. Just for temp, we're going to use Crash Bandicoot 2. And we're going to put a bait caster on top of it. So, yeah. <laughs> 
I hope you did enjoy the video and all the fish are congregated around structure. What does that tell you where they're going to be at, guys? Around structure base. Very much pressure meter shows everything in aquariums. What, what?